And a good evening, everybody, and welcome to another ITG Next Game of the Week. Tonight, we have traveled south, and I mean way south, to South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, specifically for tonight's game between the Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs of head coach Matt DeBuck and American Heritage, the Patriots of coach Patrick Sertain. We are glad to be here and bringing you our first ITG Next Florida game of the week after uh, having brought you so many great contests the first half of the season from Georgia as part of our ITG Next Georgia games of the week. But we continue to bring you the best when it comes to high school football, and we've got a good one in store tonight here at Cardinal Gibbons. I'm your host, Phil Jones, going to be on the play-by-play -play tonight. Brandon Pham is with me tonight, as always, making sure that you guys get a, a great view of tonight's game. What a great spot we've got here, high atop the press box here at Cardinal Gibbons. This is going to be a good one tonight, guys. These are two defending state champions, albeit from two different classifications. You've got Cardinal Gibbons, the defending 4A state champions, coming into tonight's game undefeated, 4-0 on the season. American Heritage, they've been a little bit slow getting the season going for a number of reasons. You've had some COVID-related issues. You've had some, uh, I think, two games canceled that included uh, a big nationally televised game scheduled in Louisiana that did not happen. So the Patriots of Coach Sertain, one and two on the season, but the win was a big one. For those of you in Georgia, you probably heard about Chaminade Madonna handing the Buford Wolves that seven and nothing shocking victory to a lot of us up in Georgia. We did not see that one coming, but that's been the one victory for this American Heritage team. So don't let the one and two record fool you coming into tonight's game. They are going to be a handful for Coach DeBuck's Chiefs tonight. These two teams, though, both, again, no stranger when it comes to winning football. The Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs, again, defending state champions, they won it two years ago under Coach Matt DeBuck, who has really done a phenomenal job since taking over here uh, five years ago at the Fort Lauderdale Private School. He has also not only brought championship caliber football here, to Cardinals Gibbons, but he has also stopped what was a year-over-year -year losing streak to American Heritage under Coach Matt DeBuck. These two teams have split the last four years, two games apiece. Last year, though, it was American Heritage who had the upper hand, 23-17, to in a close one. Probably what we're going to have again here tonight, we do want to thank Baker Sporting Goods for bringing you tonight's game. Big thanks to Baker Sporting Goods, uh, making sure that they're outfitting and serving all of the sporting good needs for teams, youth, middle school, high school, across the entire country. That's Baker Sporting Goods, sponsors of tonight's game. You'll be hearing from our friends from Baker Sporting Goods all throughout tonight's broadcast when we go to break. Beautiful night for football here in South Florida. I know a lot of you probably equate South Florida with high humidity, and but not tonight. It is a perfect uh, sea breeze coming off the ocean, located to maybe about a, a uh, maybe a mile from here or so, and it is uh, again feeling quite good here tonight between uh, for this guy game tonight between these two teams. Again, American Heritage, one and two on the season. Again, the one victory, as I mentioned earlier, against Sham or against uh, yeah Shamanade Madonna, who again handed it to Buford seven to nothing a couple of weeks ago. So American Heritage, one victory on the year, has de definitely been a good one. We have brought you some great games so far this year, of course, and we're going to be continuing to bring you great football. We are not done with Georgia. We're going to be in Douglas, Georgia toward the end of the month, bringing you coffee and Warner Robins. Of course, Warner Robins, we were at Warner Robins last week, bringing you the Warner Robins-Lee County game. What a game that was up in Georgia between those two state powerhouses. Warner Robins got the best of the Lee County Trojans. Uh, so 
we will be bringing you another Warner Robins game, that being back on our ITG Next Georgia site, and that will come at the end of October. This is going to be a packed house tonight before it's all said and done. Crowd late filing in here, but, boy, they are coming in droves from the north end zone. A lot of people out there celebrating, enjoying a good time tonight, getting ready for this one, and they are starting to file in here to Bud Tight Field here on the campus of Cardinal Gibbons. What a beautiful facility this is. Try to take in as much of the sight lines tonight, guys, on our live broadcasts as you can. It is an absolute beautiful place to play football, beautiful landscape for football. We've got the Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs who are assembling down again up in the north end of the field, getting ready to make their way onto the field. Again, Matt DeBuck, what a great job he's done since taking over here. This is his entering his fifth season. Again, has led him to two state championships in the last three seasons, including last year's state championship in route to a eight and one season. 10 and three, year before that, 13 and two in the 2019 state championship season. As Cardinal Gibbons making their way onto the field. American Heritage, not only are they quite the football team, but quite the coaching staff. Again, Patrick Sertain, the former college and NFL great. And of course, Matt DeBuck also, former Texas Tech great. We're going to take a moment of silence here. from Cardinal Gibbons High School and American Heritage High School. Keep them safe from injury and harm. Instill in them respect for one another and reward them for their perseverance. Please bless the parents, fans, and supporters of each school. Lord, lead us to the rewards of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And please remain standing while we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. All right, playing of our national anthem as well as our pregame prayer. As uh, again, we welcome you back to our live broadcast tonight. It is our first ITG Next Florida broadcast. So again, guys, thanks so much for being a part of our broadcast tonight. We want to encourage you guys to comment during the contest. Let us hear from you. And I'll try to interact with you guys as much as I can tonight during the game. A little bit about these two teams. So if you're familiar and if you have heard our coaches' shows that we've done with both Coach, uh, Coach Patrick Sertain and Coach DeBuck, 
you know that Cardinal Gibbons, they like to throw it, throw it, and throw it some more offensively. Now, the one thing, though, that's a little bit deceiving when it comes to Cardinal Gibbons, as much as made of their offense, they've got a pretty darn good defense as well. We're going to see both units on display here tonight. All right, we've got the captains for both teams making their way onto the field for American Heritage. It's Jaden Kenlark, 5'11 linebacker, representing the Patriots. And we'll check out the Cardinal Gibbons player. And the assistant coach up here tells me, what number is he, coach? Greg Otten. Greg Otten. American Heritage has won the toss. They're going to defer to the second half. And so we're going to see the powerful Cardinal Gibbons offense on display here tonight to begin the game. So I was talking about American Heritage. Brandon Ennis may be the top wide receiver in the country, transferred to American Heritage in the offseason. Now, you're going to see him some at wide out, but he's also going to line up at quarterback. In fact, when we talked with Coach uh, Patrick Sertain earlier this week, he mentioned to us, although he wouldn't disclose a whole lot, that it's either going to be Ty Law or Brandon Ennis rotating tonight at quarterback. So we'll see once we get started here tonight exactly who's going to be taking the snaps. For Cardinal Gibbons, we can tell you it's going to be Dylan Risk. He is a junior quarterback and he is being looked at by several of the Power Five schools. In fact, you've got a host of players on both sides tonight that certainly are going to be playing on Saturdays next fall if they're seniors. Of course, we've also got some juniors and sophomores, guys, that are also going to be playing at the next level when their time comes. I right, get the picture here, guys. As you can see, you've got American Heritage, the Patriots. They're in their... Black, white, and gold, the black bottoms. The white jerseys with the black numerals. Cardinal Gibbons and their good looking red, white, and gray. And again, we're gonna see Cardinal Gibbons getting the ball here tonight to start things off. American Heritage, Julian Ramirez. It's going to kick it off, and here we go. It's high end over end kick. It's going to hit at the back line of the end zone. That's not going to come out. So we're going to see Cardinal Gibbons going on offense tonight. First and 10 from their own 20. Sit back, everybody. Welcome in, and thanks so much for being a part of our inaugural ITG Next Florida game of the week this year. We picked a good one. Big thanks, by the way to Coach DeBuck and everyone here at Cardinal Gibbons for their hospitality and allowing us to be here tonight. All right, so no surprise. We're going to see Cardinal Gibbons come out, four receivers, three here on the near side, one on the far side. Risk. He's in the gun. He's going to take it. Left side run, going to go for about two yards, and that's about it. Moulton gets the call there on first down. He'll go for a couple. We're going to bring up second down and eight for Cardinal Gibbons. Again, you're going to see a lot of tempo. Going to see a lot of throwing the ball around. They'll intermix the running game as they did there. All right, here we go now. That's actually give him three yards on that first down run. So call it second and seven. Risk. He's in the gun. And we've got whistles now. Let's check the call here. Going to reset the clock here. So they'll reset yes, the clock. Yes, yes. And we're set to go. Second and seven. And we've got whistles. Stay Check the call. No. We're it's going to be an offsides. American Heritage jumps on the play. So that's going to give Cardinal Givens five easy ones. So now you cut it to second and two. 
Again, Cardinal Gibbons still with four wide receivers. Three here to this side, one to that far side. Wrist takes the snap, wants to throw. Looks, going to sail it long downfield. Incomplete. So they felt like they had one to waste there on second and short, so why not take a shot deep? The ball sailed on wrist that time. So going to bring up third down and short now for Cardinal Gibbons. We're just underway. Cardinal Gibbons took the opening kick. Three offensive plays so far, one resulting in an offsides, a running play, and an incomplete. And that brings us to where we are now, which is third and short. Running play right up the middle. And I don't think he's going to get there for the first. Not going to make it. Maybe a half yard needed to get two, so Cardinal Gibbons going to have to punt it away. So American Heritage is going to bring a couple of men back deep here. And we've got whistles. Check the call here. Looks like we may have a timeout. <clears throat> so American Heritage takes a timeout. We'll take a timeout, and we'll hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. All right, welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you. ITG Next Florida. It is our game of the week. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. Battle of these two Florida powerhouses, Cardinal Gibbons and American Heritage. All right, coming out of the timeout now, Cardinal Gibbons going to be punting it away. Good snap. High punt. Going to hit at about the 40 or the 37, rather, and it's going to roll out of bounds. And so American Heritage will go on offense first here tonight as they'll spot it right where the ball hit and then went out of bounds at the 37-yard line. All right, so here we go. We're going to see American Heritage now go on offense tonight for the first time. And here they come up to the line. Going to take, going to hand it to the back. He got the running room here near side, 45, 46. What's well, a great open field tackle over here by Tremont Dristam that time. Great open field tackle that time, but a nice run on first down for American Heritage. It's going to give them second and two now after the gain of eight yards. We are seeing Ennis, by the way, Brandon Ennis lining up at quarterback. One back in the backfield. Ennis calls for it. Going to take, going to hand it. First down run and a lot more. Boy, a big back. Just ran over a Cardinal Gibbons defensive back. Mark Fletcher, big running back. He's six foot two, 235. He has just ran two big plays for American Heritage. And he's made it look easy over here on the edge, especially on that one. Boy, what a load he is to bring down as one of the Cardinal Gibbons defensive backs just found out there. All right, so here's American Heritage now, first and 10. They're in Cardinal Gibbons territory at the 43 of the Chiefs. Gonna run it right side. Boy, it's a nice tackle from Cardinal Gibbons. Check him out, it's number 55. That was Trey Brown, the senior linebacker who came in and just laid the woods. What a play. He's a Coastal Carolina commit, is Trey Brown, by the way. And again, there's a lot of these guys going to be playing on Saturdays for both sides next year, guys. So some great talent on both sides of the field. But we are so glad to be here tonight here in South Florida for this big matchup. All right, so here we go now. Big play here, second down. 
Again, second and short, and we've got whistles. And it's going to be a penalty on American Heritage. That's going to back them up, five. So that backs him up five yards now. Again, Ennis, even though he's lined up at quarterback, I told you earlier, the top wide receiver in the country. So you may see him catching the ball in addition to quarterbacking where he is at now. Direct snap going right up the middle, but we've got penalty again, dead ball foul going to go against American Heritage again. So back-to-back -back penalties. After two big runs to start the game for American Heritage has now go on now got the Patriots going in the opposite direction. <clears throat> so here's American Heritage now. Back up to the line. Still second down and long here for the Patriots. Snap to Ennis, he wants to throw. He's looking, looking, going to sail it. Far side, incomplete. Boy, there's a Cardinal Givens corner. Almost came up and took that one to the house, but he missed it. But Ennis misses the pass on second and long. So it's going to bring up third and long now for the Patriots of American Heritage. Keep those comments coming, guys. I want to interact with you guys. Let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you think about the calls tonight. Love to hear from you. All right, here we go. Ennis wants to throw. He's being chased out of the pocket. Ennis running for his life back there. We're going to get – our Cardinal Gibbons is going to get a hand on him. He's able to get out of that. We've got a late flag coming in. Ennis going to be run out of bounds at about the Cardinal Gibbons 40. He's short of the first down. But check this call back here. We may have a hold – on American Heritage, but let's check the call. It is a hold going against American Heritage. Now, if you're Coach Matt DeBuck, what do you do here? You ran him out of bounds short of the first down, although he did get deep into Chiefs territory. But you, uh, you make him run this thing over again now, and you're going to put him even deeper in a hole. No score. We're just underway here in Fort Lauderdale at Dr. Bud Tight Field on the campus of Cardinal Gibbons High. Sean Blotcher is checking in tonight. Dolphan Nate is checking in. It looks like Cardinal Gibbons declined that penalty. So it's going to bring up fourth down. So instead of taking the penalty and keeping American Heritage deep, they're going to decline it. I thought that that might be the choice, and it is. So now American Heritage is going to punt this one away. Of course, got to be aware of the fake here with these guys. Cardinal Gibbons sending one man back deep. Here's the punt. Short punt taken at the 15, and he's brought down right there on the punt, short punt, no return. Catch was made back there by Adonis Allen. So here we go now. It's going to be first and 10 for Cardinal Gibbons. So Cardinal Gibbons going left to right, no score. We're in the first quarter, 7.01 left to go here in quarter number one. So here's Cardinal Gibbons now, second possession of the night. Wrist takes the snap, short throw out here, complete. Now it's incomplete after the hard hit by the American Heritage defensive back there. That was number 13, Damari Brown, who come up after it looked like Cardinal Gibbons had a completion, Brown come up and made the hard hit and dislodged the ball from the Cardinal Gibbons receiver. So, second down, 10. 
Cardinal Givens, three receivers near side, one on the far side. Risk, the quarterback. He's being looked at by several D1 schools, guys. He is quite an athlete. Now he's going to take, thought he was going to run it, but instead he'll throw it up to about the 29-yard line. It's complete to number six, Patrick Steppleton. That's going to move the chains for uh, Cardinal Gibbons first down. So here's Cardinal Gibbons now after the first down catch. First and 10, the Chiefs from their own 29. Going to run it. Left side, not much there. Maybe a yard, and that's about it. And now I'm not sure that he got back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. So no gain on that play. 6.02, 6.01, six minutes left to go in the opening quarter. No score so far, a battle of the two defenses. Cardinal Gibbons this time now, two receivers to this side, one to the far side. Now a man going to come in motion, snap to risk. He's looking. They're trying to set up the wide receiver screen. They've got it. And they're going to take it over the 35. We've got a late flag coming in. Check this one. See what we got here. Not sure what we've got, so we're going to let these guys sort it out, and they'll come tell us what the penalty is. Crew chief is going to come over and give us the call now. Going to go against American Heritage. Still talking it over are the officials down about the 35 yard line. Crew Chief has already given the signal that it was against American Heritage, a defensive penalty. So I don't know here if they're trying to decide where the placement of the ball should be or what and now now they're bringing it back so now the white hat is signaling the penalty was against Cardinal Gibbons so it was he initially called pass interference on American Heritage but apparently he just motioned to the wrong team. Instead, it's offensive pass interference going against Cardinal Gibbons. We've got a stoppage in play. Let's take a moment now and hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm Phil Jones. You are watching ITG Next Florida. Big thanks to Dean Knoll checking in. Sean Blotcher, Kristen Hank. Keep the comments coming, guys. We appreciate everybody watching along the way tonight here at ITG Next. Keep your comments coming. Dominique Lindsay says, let's go Cardinal Gibbons. So game really having a hard track getting uh, or having a hard time getting on track so far. Patrick Sertain's American Heritage Patriots coming in here at one and two, but the one win was a big one against Chaminade Madonna. They're the team that upset Buford in Buford a couple of weeks ago, seven to nothing, shocked everybody. And they're trying to pick up the equalizer to go two and two tonight. But Coach Matt DeBucks, Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs. Want to keep their win, a winning streak intact. They've won four in a row to start the season. Want to go to 5-0, but 
Again, long way to go in this one. Just underway, no score. 5.40 to go in the first quarter, guys. Thanks so much for being a part of our live stream tonight here at ITG Next Florida. All right, again, just having a real tough time getting going here after the timeout. Looks like Patrick Sertain is having a conversation with the referees here on our side. A little bit of a different setup here with the private school. You've got just the one set of stands here on this side. So you've got both sets of fans seated on our side, but the home side technically is over on the far side opposite of where we are here atop the press box so a little bit of a different setup but nevertheless two great teams going at it on the field we're finally ready to go now risk takes it short drop plenty of room plenty of time throws across the middle it's complete one man missed the tackle on number 17 that was kamani benaby a junior wideout Check the spot after the catch. Going to be at about the 30, it looks like, 30-yard line. So it's going to bring up third down now for the Chiefs. Still got about four, four and a half yards to go for the first down. Three receivers near side, one on the far side. Wrist takes it. Short drop. Setting up the wide receiver screen right up the middle. He dropped it. Incomplete. So they set up the wide receiver screen there in the middle, pass incomplete. There was just too many bodies there in the middle for that thing to go anywhere. So incomplete. So we're going to see Cardinal Gibbons have to punt it away again. And here's the punt. It's high. It's short. It's going to take a Cardinal Gibbons bounce, and it's going to roll out at about – the 35 yard line or so. We'll wait for the final spot, but Cardinal Gibbons punting it away and now we'll see American Heritage go on offense again here tonight. Still no score though in this matchup between these two Florida powerhouses. Of course, Cardinal Gibbons from here in Fort Lauderdale, American Heritage from up the road in Plantation, Florida, about a half hour's drive from here. Here we go now, American Heritage. We got Brandon Ennis. He's technically the nation's number one wide receiver, but they're lining him up at quarterback because he's just that great of an athlete. And again, just a game that's having a tough time getting going here. Just a lot of stoppages in play. Looks like now the referees are set and we're ready to go. They spotted it at the 38, 39 yard line. 39 yard line is where we are. Ennis gonna take, gonna handle that big back right up the middle. Cardinal Gibbons says, no sir, we're not having any of that. Gonna bring him down for no gain. Boy, they got a big running back, does American Heritage. He's already ran it a couple of times tonight. Mark Fletcher, he's six foot two, 235, and he is a load, folks. But Cardinal Gibbons got the best of him on that one. Ball spotted just shy of the 40, so maybe a half yard or so on that last carry, we'll call it. We'll give him a yard. So second and nine, three receivers far side, now two to the near side, an empty backfield for Ennis, who calls for the ball. He's got it, short drop, throws here near side. It's complete, receiver open, and he takes quite a pop by the Cardinal Gibbons defensive back, Adonis Allen. But not before American Heritage picks up a Patriots first down. Multiple substitutions now for Patrick Sertain's Patriots. Ball spotted just on the Cardinal Gibbons side of the 50 at the Chiefs 49, first down and 10. Here's American Heritage up to the line, ready to go. A little bit of more of a bunch formation this time now. Two backs with Ennis in the backfield. He'll take, gonna hand it. Right side, running room for Fletcher. Getting it out to about the 44 or so. On to carry number four, Mark Fletcher. 
now they'll spot it back at the 45. Beautiful weather, just couldn't ask for a better night here in South Florida for tonight's ITG Next Florida matchup. Here we go now, American Heritage up to the line, ready to go. Now they're showing three receivers, near side, one of the far side, Ennis calls for it, takes it, gonna hand it to the back again, who gonna drive it to about the 40, let's see where the spot is, about the 42, 43, it looks like. So they're going to Fletcher, he's their guy right now. I mean, it's, right now it's, it's Ennis and Fletcher. Again, Brandon Ennis, he was at True Academy last year. New school, school kind of like IMG Academy, but he transferred in the offseason here to American Heritage. And he, he, although being the nation's number one wide receiver, he's quarterbacking tonight. We got movement on the left side of the Patriots line. And what was a third and short with American Heritage stacking it up in there, getting ready to go with their big man formation. Now they're going to go back and lose five yards. Ball spotted back at the 48-yard line. We're still in the first, 224 left to go here in the opening quarter. Keep your comments coming, guys. We appreciate everybody checking out tonight's game. Tonight's game brought to you by Baker Sporting Goods. All right, here we go now. Here's American Heritage. Third down, three receivers. Again, they're showing now five receivers total, empty backfield for Ennis. They may call his number, let's see, but we won't know because we've got whistles. And we've got a timeout. Timeout taken by American Heritage. We'll keep it right here. And that'll give us a chance to tell you about our friends at Baker Sporting Goods sponsoring tonight's game. We appreciate our we appreciate our friends at Baker Sporting Goods sponsoring tonight's game. Guys, don't forget we're going to be bringing you a game of the week all year long as we have done so far this year. Going to be bringing you more Florida high school football. We'll be bringing you more Georgia high school football. The end of October, we're going to be in Douglas, Georgia, for the Coffee High Trojans, a 5A powerhouse up in Georgia, and the Warner Robins Demons, who right now – many consider to be the best high school football team in Georgia. That's certainly debatable with a lot of great football teams, but that's going to be a good one, guys. And again, just another one of our great games in addition to this one. Coming out of the timeout, we're ready to go now. Here we go. Ennis going to take it. I told you they may call his number. Indeed, they do. That's what you got when you got such a great talent. I had said before the timeout, don't be surprised if they call Brandon Ennis' number and let him try to get the first down. He comes up a little bit short. So it's going to be fourth down for American Heritage. Fourth and short. Ennis calling for the ball. Long count, Ennis going to take it, going to keep it. Makes a man miss. There goes Ennis taking it. Well, he is. You can see why he is quite the athlete, guys. He made quite a move on a Cardinal Gibbons defensive back, made him miss, and he's going to get the first down. Again, you can see Patrick Sertain with injuries to Ty Law, the regular quarterback. They're going with the, the next best athlete on the field, and that's Brandon Ennis, nation's number one wide receiver. But when you got such a good athlete, use him as you have to, and that's exactly what American Heritage is doing, and you kind of got a glimpse why right there on that last play. Here's American Heritage with a first down inside the Cardinal given us 25. They'll hand it. The big number four, Fletcher, again. Short gain off the left side of the Cardinal Gibbons defensive line. 
two big lines, without a doubt, going at it tonight. They are both talented. Ahmad Moten, he's got five plus Division I offers, East Carolina included in that group. We're down to 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. We'll probably see one more play, and that's about it if they get this one off. Five, four, three, two, one, and the clock is going to run out before American Heritage is able to get it off. That's the end of the first quarter. Your score, Cardinal Gibbons, nothing. American Heritage, nothing. Great football in this first quarter, as we expected. We'll take this 30-second timeout, and we'll be back with quarter number two right after this. Welcome back, everybody. Phil Jones with you. We got the one, the only, Brandon Pham on the camera and the controls tonight. As, boy, this place is starting to really fill up now. You've got bodies all around the edge of the field here. Just a great atmosphere, guys. We're going to try to capture it with our camera tonight, letting you see all of these great fans that are here tonight. This is what Friday Night Lights are all about. You can check out Cardinal Gibbons if you have Netflix. Uh, the QB1 from 2018 series features this Cardinal Gibbons uh, team. And the state championship run they had that year. Here we go now to start quarter number two. No score, but American Heritage on the move here. Ennis. He is calling for it. He's got it. Wants to throw. Pump fake. He's not going to sail it long. And Cardinal Gibbons had it for an interception, but they let it get out of his hands. Great chance for an interception back there at the goal line. So Ennis was trying to get Santana Fleming down there. He is the sophomore wideout. But a Cardinal Gibbons defensive back was back there, ready to pick it off. He had it, couldn't hang on to it, though. Big crowd assembling here again at Cardinal Gibbons. What a great atmosphere it is here tonight between and for these two Florida powerhouses. We're glad to be here, glad to be bringing you the game. A game that is, again, as I've said earlier, had a little bit of a problem getting on track with any kind of rhythm. We have stoppages in play. We've had multiple timeouts. We've had multiple penalties. We had another penalty right there going against American Heritage. Guys, keep your comments coming. We love to hear from you. Want to know where you're checking in from? Here we go now. American Heritage after the penalty. Ennis, little misdirection, plenty of running room. Look out. They hit us with a little bit of a uh, trap play that time and going to get it all the way down close to the 15-yard line. All right, here we go now. Here's American Heritage up to the line. Fourth and three, and it looks like Cardinal Gibbons is going to jump off sides, and if that's the case, it's going to give American Heritage a first down the easy way. That is going to go against Cardinal Gibbons, and that will give American Heritage a first down the easy way. All right, so here we go now up to the line. American Heritage now with a new set of downs. They've got first down. They're the first real threat for either team tonight. 
just outside the Cardinal Gibbons 10 yard line at about the 11. Ennis, the quarterback, takes it. Option pitch to the left. Cardinal Gibbons is going to read it, though. Going to bring him down. Maybe got a yard as the pitch went to Fletcher. Going to bring up second down now for American Heritage. So let's see if the Cardinal Gibbons, if you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan, you want your chief defense to stand up big here. Kristen Hank, or is it Hanky? Kristen, Cardinal Gibbons fan. Here comes American Heritage up to the line. We're just underway in quarter number two with American Heritage threatening. Ennis gonna take it. Ennis gonna keep it. Right side, gonna get it down to about the six. So we're gonna have a third down coming up here for American Heritage. They can still get a first down without scoring. American Heritage, multiple substitutions on every play. Here we go, guys, third down. American Heritage, a single receiver is out to either side. One back stands to the left of Ennis, who takes it. Going to throw the fade. It's a battle for position, incomplete. It was a battle, a mano, a mano down there in the corner on a fade route. Great play by Cardinal Gibbons to force an incomplete and in the process going to force American Heritage to go for a 25-yard field goal attempt. The hold will come at the 15. Here's the snap, the hold. The kick is up. The kick is good. So American Heritage will strike first tonight in this battle of Florida powerhouses. 9.28 to go in the first half. It's American Heritage three, Cardinal Gibbons nothing. 30 second timeout and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Bill Jones back with you. ITG Next Florida. Tonight's game brought to you by Baker Sporting Goods. Julian Ramirez with a 25-yard field goal, and now he will kick it off for the Patriots. They lead it three to nothing. First score of the night for either team. It comes at 9.28 of the second. Kickoff, gonna go into the end zone and out of the end zone for a touchback. So Cardinal Gibbons will take over. First and 10 from their own 20 yard line. Cardinal Gibbons coming into tonight's game undefeated. You're defending 4A state champions. And American Heritage, again, one and two on the season. Couple of uh, tough losses, including Treasure Coast to start the year. But so far, three to nothing in favor of the visitors from Plantation. All right, here we go now. Cardinal Gibbons gonna see if they can get something going offensively here. Risk gonna roll, still rolling, looking. Gonna throw over there. That far side, incomplete. Again, we make a lot, and we talk a lot about the Cardinal Gibbons offense, and for good reason. Matt DeBuck has done a great job of the air raid offense, as it is known. But American, or rather Cardinal Gibbons, known for their great defensive play too. So far, it's really been primarily the defenses that have taken this game over. But a long way to go, and a three to nothing Patriot lead. Second and ten. 
Cardinal Gibbons going to run it, getting it over the 20 to about the 23-yard line. That was number 19, Kamari Moulton, the junior running back. He's their go-to guy on the ground for the Chiefs. But Cardinal Gibbons has got a lot of weapons that they'll throw at you. All right, here we go now. Going to be third down. Third and long here. We'll call it third and seven needed for Cardinal Gibbons. Quick toss. Complete to the 35. Nice timing route that time to Alicia Edwards. What a play. Just a quick timing route, and that's really the first big play of the night for Cardinal Gibbons. Let's see if that can get the Chiefs going as that moves the ball out to the 37-yard line. First down and 10 for Cardinal Gibbons. Eight, 12, eight, 11, eight, 10, left to go in the first half. Cardinal Gibbons, two receivers either side, long back, man in motion, now coming around behind, wrist, they'll take, hand it off, right up the middle, for progress, should give the ball carrier the 40. Going to bring up second down now for the Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs. Here we go now. Cardinal Gibbons, again, two receivers to either side, one back, and we've got penalty flags. Check the call. Going to be a false start. False start going against Cardinal Gibbons. So move them back five. So Cardinal Gibbons is going to have second down now. We'll call it 12 needed for the first. Again, multiple receivers with one back for Risk. He takes it. He's being chased out of the pocket now. Risk goes, oh, dangerous pass. Intercepted. Risk threw it off his back foot. You could see that one coming. He was under a heavy rush. He threw it. Ill-intended pass that time from risk, he threw it and all you could see was American Heritage defensive back zeroing in on the football. He intercepted it and right now you've got American Heritage with an interception. They've got the lead and they've got the momentum here. Ill advised pass that time from the young quarterback, risk it for Cardinal Gibbons. That has definitely fired up this American Heritage sideline. So let's see if, well, let's see if the American Heritage Patriots can do anything with it, or let's see if the Chiefs defense can make a stand here. They already trailed it three to nothing. Now American Heritage is going to be looking to add to the lead. Ennis going to hand it to the back. Oh, you had a Cardinal Gibbons defender who had a hand on him. Couldn't bring him down. We've got a penalty flag on the play. Let's check the call. We've got a hold going to be against American Heritage. So that'll be coming back. Boy, penalties just have, have killed any momentum in this game. But so far, American Heritage has been able to work around it somewhat. They have a three to nothing lead, but they have really limited themselves with the penalties. Cardinal Gibbons coming off a, an ill-advised pass and an interception by American Heritage, and that's given the Patriots the ball back. But after the penalty, Patriots back now at the Cardinal Gibbons 30. Ennis going to take it complete across the middle. Runner, uh, running the uh, receiver rather, still on his feet, taking it to about the 15. 
American Heritage fans down here calling for a face mask. I don't think we got a penalty. Pass was complete across the middle to number 10. It's Emory Clements. They're getting, they're doing a good job right now as American Heritage of getting guys in space and getting them open. Doing a really good job of that. And Ennis is doing a good job of eluding the Cardinal Gibbons rush and finding his receivers. Right now, the American Heritage offense is looking pretty good. Again, they've been bogged down with penalties, but working against it right now. Here we go. American Heritage at the Cardinal Gibbons 15. Going to run it right side. Was a nice tackle, but we're going to get multiple penalty flags thrown here. It's going to go on Cardinal Gibbons. We either have a horse collar or a pen, uh, face mask, one of the two. We'll see exactly which one the call is going to be. Personal foul. It will be a face mask going against Cardinal Gibbons. Three to nothing is your score if you're just tuning in. We're getting late in the first half, 539. So far, it's been all American heritage for the most part. Cardinal Gibbons has had one nice offensive play. That on about an 18-yard pass completion. But other than that, that's been about it for Cardinal Gibbons' offense. All right, here's American Heritage now. Going to try to take advantage of the Cardinal Gibbons' mistake as it's going to move it inside the 10-yard line. We've got yet another timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout and hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. All right, welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you. Let me hear the comments from you guys. Madonna Oten Safoni says, Chicago Land, go number nine. It's the beauty of streaming these games on the net. You can watch us anywhere in the world. Dominique Lindsay says, let's go Cardinal Gibbons. Dean Knoll checking in. Thanks so much, Dean. Appreciate it. The comments. All right, here we go now. Running play. Fletcher right up the middle. Well, they're running him hard tonight. And you can tell why he's a big, strong, fast back. Going to take it. Check the spot here. Going to be down around the five. Now they're back up to the line, ready to go. American Heritage is looking to try to add to the 3 nothing lead. Look for him to maybe get something outside here. Going to throw complete, but a great tackle immediately by the Cardinal Gibbons corner, Adonis Allen over here on this near side. So American Heritage leading it 3 to nothing, trying to add to the lead. Going to be a big play coming up here. The ball spotted at the Cardinal Gibbons. Seven-yard line. Going to be third down and goal now. Third and goal to go. Here we go. Ennis going to take the snap. He's got it. Going to pitch it to Fletcher, who's going to put his head down and take it to the one. So now if you are... Patrick Sertain, head coach of American Heritage, what do you do here? Do you go for it and try to get the 10-point lead with an extra point, or do you try to kick the field goal and go up six to nothing? Let's see what Sertain decides to do. It looks like they're leaving the offense in here right now, and I gotta be honest with you, with a big back like Mark Fletcher, I really don't blame him, but let's wait and see what he decides to do here. They're gonna go for it. Going to go for it. Not showing any signs of a field goal. Fourth and goal to go from the one. Ennis. Again, you got Fletcher, the back. 
He's going to get the call. Right up the middle goes Fletcher for a touchdown. Again, when you've got a back like Fletcher, why not go forward? I think it's a good call. Obviously, it was a good call by Sertain. And now you've got American Heritage going up 9 to nothing. So nine to nothing with the point after attempt coming up. So nine to nothing. Point after attempt coming up here. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick is up, and it's good. So with 3.37 left to go in the first half, right now it's American Heritage in control. Patriots 10, Cardinal Gibbons nothing. Take a 30-second timeout. All right, so here we go, guys. Ten to nothing score. So far, American Heritage in control as the kick going to go into and out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So we're going to see Cardinal Gibbons get it with 3.37 left to go in the first half in a ten to nothing game. So let's see if this uh, much vaunted Cardinal Givens offense can get on track here at the end of the first half. It would, if you're a Cardinal Givens Chiefs fan, it would be good for you to get something here at the end of the half. You don't want to go into the locker room down 10 to nothing, but you also don't want to do something risky that's going to put this deficit even more. So that's important too. So let's see what Matt DeBuck and the staff here at Cardinal Givens decide to do. Risk going to throw. Got a man open over on that far side, but he's going to be hit right away at the sticks. So not much doing at all there on the short pass completion. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. So second down and 10. 306, 305. Second down and 10, Cardinal Givens from their own 20. They trail it 10 to nothing. Two receivers to this side, two to the far side, one back for Risk, who's in the gun, wants to throw a look. Short drop, gonna throw it long down this near side and incomplete. Got a penalty flag gonna be thrown here in front of the American Heritage bench. So we may get a defensive hold here, but let's wait for the call. It is gonna go against American Heritage and that's gonna give Cardinal Gibbons a first down on the pass interference. So that's a break for Cardinal Gibbons who really has been unable to get uh, on track here with their offense tonight. So you can see there where Coach DeBuck and the offensive staff here looking to try to loosen them up a little bit. And if nothing else, that's what that play did. And it gives Cardinal Gibbons a new set of downs. So here comes the Chiefs now. They're at their own 35 after the pass interference on American Heritage. Risk going to take it. Going to throw out in the flats, far side, complete. There goes a receiver across midfield, taking it into American Heritage territory. Now you're starting to see Cardinal Gibbons get a little something going here. So now Cardinal Gibbons up to the line. You're down to 237 to go in the first half. Still a lot of football left to be played. 
with the Chiefs trailing at 10 to nothing. Here's Cardinal Gibbons now up to the line. Four receivers, three to this side, one to the far side. The air raid offense, Risk gonna throw it complete up to the 40 yard line. American Heritage crowd oohs and ahs, but it is a completed pass up to the 40. So right now, Cardinal Gibbons, a little something going here late in the second quarter. Two minutes and less than two minutes now to go in the first half. Here's uh, Cardinal Gibbons again at the 40 of American Heritage. Risk going to look, going to look. Now he's going to be chased out of the pocket. Risk going to run it far side. He'll get to the first down and get out of bounds. See where they spot him. So we do we, what do we got here? Okay, I was thinking we may have a penalty, but no. So they're going to run him out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. So they'll spot him at the 30, right at the 35 of American Heritage. It's a new set of downs for the Chiefs. First down, 142 to go in the first half. Chiefs trail at 10 to nothing, but they're on the march now. Man in motion coming out here in the flats. Risk going to throw a wide receiver screen in the middle. Oh, boy, he almost broke loose, but it was a shoestring tackle by one of the American Heritage defenders that saved that one from blowing up into a bigger play. As it is, it's a gain of about four to the 31. We'll call it second down and six now. At the, just outside the 30, again, 117-118. Risk going to take it. Risk going to be hit and slowed down, and he'll get it to about the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. We're down to 104 left to go in the first half. Going to be third down. Check that, 109 to go in the first. Now the clock runs, 108, 107. Big play here for Cardinal Gibbons. Third down. Got to get to the 25 for the first down. We got to go. Taking a lot of time here. And let's see what we got. We got a penalty flag going to be thrown on American Heritage. I got to tell you, American Heritage, they've got the 10-point lead, but, boy, they have really hurt themselves with penalties tonight. And that's another one there that's going to give Cardinal Gibbons an easy first down. The Chiefs were looking at a third and five it's there running, running, to try to keep the chains going. Clock continues to run now. 46, 45 seconds, 44 seconds. The ball at the 25. Risk going to throw it on a little slant. Time out, time out. Complete time out. to the 20. You can hear the coaches up here calling for a timeout. They'll get it there. And so that'll give us a chance here to kind of reset and tell you where we are. 37.3 seconds left to go in the opening half. Second quarter, it's 10 to nothing, American Heritage. We went scoreless in the first quarter. And then to start the second quarter, we had a 25-yard field goal from American Heritage. And then after an interception by American Heritage, they were able to capitalize and take it in for the touchdown. Extra point was good, and that's where we stand. That's all the scoring we've had so far in this big matchup, 10 to nothing. But Cardinal Gibbons, they're on the move now, and they're trying to maybe put seven on the board here. If for nothing else, they're getting close to field goal range, so they're getting within pretty good uh, earshot here of trying to get some points on the board. Either way, they need to get something going into the locker room. Big thanks to Baker Sporting Goods for sponsoring tonight's game, our first uh, game of the year here in the state of Florida. All right, here we go, coming out of the timeout now. Empty backfield, risk. Going to take, going to run it, and he's going to be brought down right at the 20-yard line, and Cardinal Gibbons going to have to burn another timeout. 
36.3 seconds left. Let's take a quick 30 second timeout and hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. Welcome back, everybody. Phil Jones with you. ITG Next Florida coming out of the timeout here. Thanks so much for watching. Let me hear your comments, guys. What do you think about the game so far? All right, here we go. Big play here, obviously, for Cardinal Gibbons. Snap to risk. Looks. Looks. Now he's going to step run, up in run, the pocket. Run, run, he's run. running for it. 20, 10, 5. They're going to knock him down at about the 4-3 yard line. 27 seconds left. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. Let's see if Cardinal Gibbons takes a timeout. They will. I think that's their third and final timeout, though, of the first half. We're going to keep it right here. We'll keep it right here in this big matchup tonight between these two Florida powerhouses. We are live in Fort Lauderdale tonight. You are watching the defending state champions from 4A, Cardinal Gibbons, taking on your defending state champions from 5A in American Heritage, two of the most heralded coaches in the state of Florida in high school football, and Patrick Sertain. Yes, that Patrick Sertain. His son, of course, chip off the old block. But Patrick Sertain Sr.'s playing days are over. Now his time and efforts are devoted to leading this American Heritage team. On the other side, Matt DeBuck, a great player in his own right. Played at Texas Tech, played right here at Cardinal Gibbons, went on to play and star in the Canadian Football League. So we've got two great ex-athletes showing their trade here tonight and matching wits with their respective football teams here tonight in Fort Lauderdale. Here we go. Going to be first and goal to go. Risk going to throw it. Oh, it was almost intercepted. Wow. Risk tried to throw a little crossing round. It was batted up in the air. An American Heritage player had his paws on it. Looked like he was going to bring it down. Now, keep in mind, Cardinal Gibbons, I believe, has no timeouts left. So, you, if, you ri if you run it, you run the risk of a lot of time running out, and you run the risk of not being able to get up and get a playoff. So remember that. That's where we are right now with 21 seconds left to go. Second and goal to go. Here we go. We're first or second and goal to go from the three. Risk, going to look, going to throw it. Got a man wide open, and he threw it too low. He had a man wide open, but he couldn't get it out to him. So the good news is the pass goes incomplete. The bad news is the pass goes incomplete. Now we're going to get a sideline warning on American Heritage. No harm, no foul, unless there's another one. So now your Cardinal Gibbons, your third and goal to go, 18 seconds left to go in the first half. Again, you have no timeouts. Now, Amer or Cardinal Gibbons, rather, three receivers on that far side. Let's see what Matt DeBuck draws up here with his staff. One receiver over here to this near side. What are we going to get here with a Cardinal Gibbons offense with no timeouts and looking at third and goal from the three? They trail it 10 to nothing. The last thing you want to do is run the risk of getting nothing. All right, here we go. Remember, no timeouts with 18 seconds left. Risk, going to look. Risk is going to step up. And now you got no timeouts left. Here's Cardinal Gibbons trying to run their field goal team onto the field with four seconds left. I don't know if they're going to be able to get this one off or not. 4.3 seconds left. Cardinal Gibbons is trying to line up for a field goal here. 4.3 seconds left. 4.3 seconds left. 
They're going to try it from the 11 for a 21-yard field goal. The clock runs. Here's the snap. The kick is up. The kick is good. We got a late flag. A late penalty flag was thrown. Let's see what that's about. But the penalty is going to be declined. I think it was on American Heritage, but Matt DeBuck going to decline it. And what a way to end the first half. Cardinal Gibbons was in jeopardy there of not getting anything. They were fortunate to get that playoff. And the play was a 21-yard field goal to cut the lead from 10 to nothing to 10 to three. And that's where we are as we go to the locker room. Phil Jones with you, ITG next. What a first half we just saw there, guys. Let's take a break. Let's hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods and we'll be back. All right, welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you. We got Brandon Pham on the camera tonight as we are here atop the press box. 10 to three, your score between American Heritage and Cardinal Gibbons. It's the Patriots that lead it 10 to three. Again, this scoring recap brought to you by Baker Sporting Goods. No score in the first quarter. We went scoreless. Really, both teams trying to find their way in that first quarter. Second quarter, we had American Heritage kicking a 25-yard field goal at 928 of the second. They would lead it three to nothing. The next possession for Cardinal Gibbons, an ill-advised pass by Cardinal Gibbons quarterback Dylan Risk resulted in an interception. American Heritage would take advantage and take it in for the touchdown. They led it 10 to nothing. And then just at the end of the first half, Cardinal Gibbons with a nice drive. They came down, had it first and goal to go at the three. And fortunate for Cardinal Gibbons after misfiring on the first three plays, they're able to get up and get a field goal from 21 yards out as time expires, and we are 10-3 to three at the half. We're going to let you enjoy the halftime entertainment from the marching band from American Heritage, and we'll let you enjoy also the, the talents of the marching band of the Cardinal Gibbons Marching Chiefs. Enjoy the halftime entertainment, guys, and we'll be back in a little while with the start of the second half.
All right, welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you. We got my man Brandon Pham on the camera. It's ITG Next Florida, our first broadcast for ITG Next Florida, following so many great games we've brought to you from the state of Georgia. But, hey, we are going to have a fantastic second half of the season as we're going to have a fantastic second half tonight as we are live here in Fort Lauderdale at Dr. Bud Tight Field on the campus of Cardinal Gibbons, your defending 4A state champion. They are hosting the defending 5A state champion, American Heritage Patriots, a game right now here at the half that American Heritage leads 10 to three as we get ready to start quarter number three. Again, Phil Jones, your play-by-play -play man, your host for tonight's game. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of tonight's game. Keep those comments coming to me tonight, guys. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think about the game, and I'll do my best to answer you. Here we go. Short kickoff. Going to be taken at the 20, 30. Going to be brought down at about the 38. So American Heritage is going to go with pretty good field position after the short kickoff. Taken over there on the far sideline, and we'll see American Heritage on offense, first to start the third. Big thanks again to Baker Sporting Goods tonight for sponsoring tonight's game, guys. Baker Sporting Goods, they can handle all of your team's sporting needs. Score coming in involving one of the teams from the area down here, North Miami, playing up in Leesburg tonight. They trail Lee County 19 to seven. 
That's North Miami Beach. Here it's 10 to 3 as we get ready. Ennis takes it. Going to hand it to the first man. That's, I don't think that's Fletcher. I think it's a different back. We'll check the number as he's going to take it to about the 39. And it was Mark Fletcher. Second down, American Heritage, we're just underway. Third quarter, if you're just tuning in, American Heritage got out to a 10 to nothing lead. Cardinal Gibbons with a last second field goal to end the first half, cut it to 10 to three, and that's where we are to open the second half. Here's American Heritage, second down, and we've got whistles, check the call. Boy, this game was marred by penalties in the first half. And we've got one right here on the second play of the third, and it's gonna go against the Patriots of American Heritage. You guys feel free to send me scores in tonight. Would love to, love to hear from you guys. Scores, any kind of feedback, comments that you've got, let me hear from you. Want to engage with you guys tonight. Also, guys, want to invite you to check out the my live show on high school sports, Extra Point with Phil Jones. Coming up Tuesday at 5 o'clock. We'll have no show on Monday is again another flag. I think we're going to have yet another false start on American Heritage. Let's wait and see. No, I don't think it was a flag. Flag's going to be waved off. I think we're going to reset the clock here. Boy, that first half was really marred by penalties and stoppages in play. And we're off to kind of the same start so far. Here we go now. American Heritage with it. Ennis, play action, wants to throw. He's going to launch it long. And they're going up for it. Who's got it? I think it's going to be knocked down incomplete. Boy, Cardinal get the ball floated up there forever. He had a couple of Cardinal giving Chiefs defensive backs back there in Isaiah Ferris and Tremon Drisdom were both back there. And going to knock that one away. It looked like Cardinal Gibbons may have had a shot at an interception, but just kind of got Amano Amano there. Incomplete it goes. So here we go. Third down and long down for American Heritage. Let's see what happens here. Snap to Ennis, short drop. He looks. Now he's going to run out of there. They're going to miss a tackle. There's the talented Ennis. Going to be run out of bounds at the 45. Going to be just shy of the first down, I think. Boy, he, you can see the quickness of Brandon Ennis, the nation's number one rated wide receiver. But playing quarterback here tonight in place of the injured Ty Law. So they're going to bring up a fourth down is American Heritage after being stopped just shy of the fourth down. So look out here now. Well, you can hear buzz, a lot of buzz going on in the field. Watch for a fake. Watch for a fake here from American Heritage. Here's the snap. Now they're going to punt it away. High kick, kicking it away from the return man. Going to be down back there at about the 11-yard line, I believe. Well, what a great kick. He kicked it away from the Cardinal Gibbons return man. And it's going to be down deep in American or deep in Cardinal Gibbons territory. So the Chiefs going to start deep in their own territory at their own 11-yard line. First and 10. This will be Cardinal Gibbons' first possession of the second half. And it'll come at 10.08 of the third in a 10-3 American Heritage lead. I'm Phil Jones bringing you the play-by-play -play tonight here at ITG Next Florida. Two receivers here to the near side for Matt DeBucks, Chiefs.
risk. Going to take it. Going to hand it right side, and there's just nothing there. Kamari Moulton, the running back. So Cardinal Gibbons unable to get much of anything going tonight so far against this Patriots defense. Second down now. We're under 10 minutes to go in the third, 945. Two receivers here to the near side. There's one to the far side for Cardinal Gibbons. Daniel Risk, the quarterback, standing around his own four, going to take it. That's going to be rushed out of the pocket. And he's going to be sacked. Going to go down at about the five-yard line. Going to lose six yards on the play, and now a dangerous situation here for Cardinal Gibbons. You're looking at third and long. Cardinal Gibbons deep in their own territory. Risk going to be standing in his own end zone when he takes this snap. Wouldn't be surprised to see maybe Cardinal Gibbons trying to throw a long pass to serve as either a punt and now instead they're going to run it, just trying to get a little bit of breathing room here for their punter. Going to get it out back to the close to the original line of scrimmage, back close to the 11-yard line. So Cardinal Gibbons, nothing doing on their first offensive possession of the night. They're going to have to punt it away to American Heritage, and that's going to give the Patriots pretty good field position here. Here's the punt, nice high punt. Going to hit it the 40. It'll take a Cardinal Gibbons roll. It'll roll to the other side of the 50. And it'll go dead at the 46-yard line. So all things considered, after being stopped deep in their own territory, Cardinal Gibbons gets a pretty good punt off that time. And they'll put American Heritage starting their second offensive possession of the second half from their own 45-yard line. Now spotted at the 47. Dean Knoll is expressing his <laughs> unhappiness with these refs. Manny Alejandro checking in. Keep those comments coming, guys. Ennis going to roll. And he's going to dump it off. Pass complete, I believe, down to the 48. Boy, Ennis is just a magician back there with the football. Complete up to the 48 of Cardinal Gibbons. Clock continues to run now. 740, 739, 738. Cardinal Gibbons 4-0 on the year. Trying to make it 5-0, and oh, but right now they trail it 10-3 in the third in front of a big home crowd. Three receivers near side, one of the far side for American Heritage. Ennis calls for it. Quick toss, near side, complete. Receivers got it. Cardinal Gibbons going to come up and bring him down at the 45. Going to bring up a third and short here now for American Heritage. Dean Knoll says, big game nerves. JK, y'all doing a good job. Jenny Quint Molina is watching. Thanks so much for the comments, guys. We appreciate that. All right, here we go. Big third down play here. Going to give it to Fletcher. Why not? He'll take it for the first down. Boy, he's a solid back, let me tell you. So move the sticks. It's an American Heritage first down. So we've got a timeout here on the field, a timeout. Let's take a timeout and hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods.
Welcome back, everybody. Phil Jones with you on the play-by-play -play tonight. You're watching ITG Next Florida. Man, we have brought you some great games so far. We're bringing you another one here tonight from South Florida. We are in Fort Lauderdale tonight. We're at the home of Cardinal Gibbons. Proud to be bringing you uh, tonight's game between Cardinal Gibbons and American Heritage, two of these great South Florida programs. And so far, the game has not disappointed. 10 to three, the score, American Heritage leads it. They've got the ball, they got the momentum right now, and they got a new set of downs as we come out of the timeout. First and 10, Patriots at the Cardinal Gibbons, 40. Ennis, gonna keep it. Gonna follow the block of his back and he'll take it to about the 38 or so. We'll wait on the official spot. May spot him closer to the 37. He went out of bounds, but they're going to keep the clock rolling here. Under six minutes to go in the third. 5.55 and counting and a 10-3 Patriot lead. Patriots went into the locker room with that 10-3 lead. They've come out and so far have done nothing to act like they're going to lose that lead. They have really seized the momentum and controlled the clock and everything here in the third. Ennis throws across the middle. It's complete for a short gain to about the 33. Well, right now, American Heritage is just doing really what it takes, just nothing fancy. They're running it, throwing little short passes, and just uh, mixing it up quite well. Tyler Milbrandt checking in. What's up, Tyler? How you doing, brother? Madonna Often Stefani says, let's go Chiefs. Nick Simoncini says, let's go Chiefs. All right, here we go now. Third down, it's a big play here for both teams. Going to give it to Fletcher. There he goes. Fletcher going to take it all the way to the 16-yard line. What a back. Lauren Alford checking in, says, I taught Brandon in elementary in Hollywood. Now I can watch him from Chicago. That's the beauty of bringing you these games on Facebook, guys. Able to watch it anywhere in the world. And we appreciate you guys with the comments tonight. Keep them coming, guys. Let me hear from you. Demarius Washington is asking, who is the heritage running back, the big one? Man, he is a beast. Demarius, that is Mark Fletcher who has just given his Patriots a new set of downs, and they're gonna give it to him. Why not keep feeding the beast? Taking it left side for a short gain, maybe a yard, and that's about it. Paula Love says Mark Fletcher Jr. Shirley Giles Stimmage says we're watching from Michigan. Love it. Matty Alejandro says Gibbons Nation. Dean Knoll says it's hometown commentating. <laughs> no, this isn't the home, this isn't my hometown, Dean, but hey, thanks so much for watching, brother. We appreciate you anyway. Dean also says that the Broward refs stink. All right, here we go now. No gain on that last play. Second down and 10. Long snap count here. Ennis going to keep it off the right side. He'll take it to about the 15. Boy, you can see Ennis. What a great athlete he is. You've heard me say all night long. You may be sick of hearing me say it. Number one rated wide receiver in the country. He played for True Prep Academy last year. Transferred over to American Heritage. And stepping in at quarterback in replace of Ty Law. And doing quite a job, I might say. Cardinal Gibbons fans down below us are making some noise. We're late in the third, guys. We're under three minutes to go. Ennis on third and long, going to take. Ball batted away. So that's a huge play, a huge defensive play. Now let's see if American Heritage is going to reach for a long field goal here. Let's see if the Patriots are going to reach for a long field goal.
The hold will come at the 22. So we're looking at a 32 yard field goal. 32 yard field goal. Here's the snap, the kick, it's on its way. And he got it with plenty to spare. So the kick is good from Ramirez. And so with 2.44 left to go in quarter number three, it's now American Heritage 13 and Cardinal Gibbons three. Let's take a timeout and let's hear from our friends at Baker Sports. All right, welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you. American Heritage just stretched their lead to 10 points, 13 to 3, the score. Here's the kick from Ramirez, and it's going to go out of bounds. So that's going to give Cardinal Gibbons decent field position here as they'll start their possession with 2.44 to go in the third. Cardinal Gibbons still looking for their first touchdown of the night. They hit a... Short field goal right at the end of the first half to go into the locker room. Down 10 to three. We've been scoreless in the third until that 32 yard field goal from Ramirez of American Heritage. So instead of taking it in good field position, Cardinal Gibbons is gonna make American Heritage's Ramirez re-kick it. So Matt DeBuck and the staff are trying to find something electric. They're trying to find the big play. And there's no more big play than a special team's big play. And you can bet that's what Coach DeBuck and his staff are trying to do here. They're trying to find that big explosive play to get the team, to get the crowd back in this thing. Huge crowd here tonight, guys. You ought to see it. It's Unbelievable. We've got fans in the stands. We've got fans all around the fence, wrapping all the way around this stadium. What a crowd. What an atmosphere. Here's the kick. It's going to be a short kick. It's going to be taken at the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Boy, almost broke it there. That almost was the big play that the Chiefs were looking for as the return man, Tremont Drisdom, almost broke it. But Nice play that time from American Heritage. We'll stop him at about the 30. Let's see where they're going to spot it here. 32-yard line. So Cardinal Gibbons will take over, 32-yard line. They trail it 13-3. to Cardinal Gibbons still trying to get this offense on track. Still plenty of time left, 237 to go in the third. But Cardinal Gibbons, if they're going to try to get the – Offense going, got to do something pretty quick here. Let's see what happens. Man in motion. Gonna take a hand it off, running room. Look out, there it is, 40, 35, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. Nobody's gonna stop him. It's gonna be a 67 yard touchdown. I just talked about the big play that Cardinal Gibbons was looking for and it comes at two 36 of the third quarter on a 68-yard touchdown run. What a play by Cardinal Gibbons to get back in it there. As that cuts it now to 13 to nine, the all important extra point attempt coming up here. By the Chiefs, it's up, it's good. 
So just as we were talking about Cardinal Gibbons needing some kind of big play to spark this team, to spark this crowd, the Chiefs deliver on a 68-yard touchdown run. And what a big one it was. Kamari Moulton, the junior running back, just took it to the house. And it's now 13 to 10. What a play. So that's going to get the crowd back in it. So, by the way, that touchdown comes exactly 18 seconds after the scoring. The last score from American Heritage was, was a 32 yard field goal from Ramirez. So now here's the kickoff. American Heritage, man, going to take it back at the 25, and he's going to be brought down right away. So you can feel now Cardinal Gibbons' momentum has drifted back into their corner right now. They still trail 13 to 10, but it's a brand-new ball game at 2.22 of the third. So 13 to 10, your score. What a game, guys. It's just what we expected. Just what we expected from these two South Florida powerhouses. All right, here we go now. What a game. So proud to be bringing it to you here on ITG Next Florida. There's Ennis, gonna fake the handoff. He's coming over here to the corner. There's Cardinal Gibbons going to bring him down and going to get a horse collar called on the Cardinal Gibbons defender there. Ennis was streaking away from the defense, and one of the Cardinal Gibbons defenders just reached out and grabbed him by the neck, and there's the horse collar call going against Cardinal Gibbons. So that's going to tack on 15 yards there. You know, guys, you think about this, and it you think, come on, guys, you, you can't make that. Well, when you're in the heat of the moment, when you're in the heat of battle and you're trying to run down one of their more electric players, you know, you just reach the hand out and try to grab the first thing that you can, and that's what happens there. So, again, easier said than done. So here we go, new set of downs. It's first down. Now it's first and 10, American Heritage up at their own 45 now. Ennis going to take it, play action, throws, complete, just a quick hitter across midfield. Boy, Ennis just gets rid of that ball so quick. Benji G. Franklin checking in. Shirley Giles Stimmage says, watching from Michigan. Love it, guys. Keep those comments coming. Here's American Heritage now. Ennis going to throw. Got him in wide open out there. Far side. And tackle finally make, uh, made down there at the 38, but not before. It's another American Heritage first down. So give... American Heritage credit. Boy, this Ennis kid is something else, isn't he? And you may have heard the PA announcer here just announced to the crowd that we are indeed under a minute to go in the third in a 13-10 game. Patriots lead it. Patriots are trying to answer that last big touchdown run by Cardinal Gibbons. Ennis calling for the ball. He's got it. Throws. Far side complete. Receiver going to get away from a would-be tackler. Finally brought down right at the sticks. Right now, American Heritage is just throwing these little timing routes, these little short routes, and just getting these quick bursts of yards and 
We had a holding call. We had a penalty flag on that play, however. We're going to get a holding call going against American Heritage. So that's going to nullify the completion there by the Patriots. Well, American Heritage has really hurt themselves with penalties tonight. Jen Arndt is checking in. Jenny Quint Molina is watching. Andrea Colic Boyle is checking in. Thanks so much, guys. Keep the comments coming. I'll recognize as many as I can of you guys tonight. Thanks so much. We appreciate you. Wow. Handoff right up the middle. Going to Fletcher, and he's quite the back. In fact, I think he and I think he's been the lone rusher besides. Brandon Ennis tonight. Keisha Howard is checking in. And with that run, we have come to the end of quarter number three. What a game, just what we expected with your score. American Heritage 10, I'm sorry, American Heritage 13, Cardinal Gibbons 10. We'll take a break and hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods, and we'll be back with the start of the fourth quarter after this. Welcome back. Thanks so much, guys, for checking in with us here at ITG Next Florida. I'm Phil Jones, your host. Hey, guys, if you like high school football, head over next week to ITG Next Georgia, our Facebook page there, where I host Extra Point with Phil Jones. We normally do the show every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 5 to 7. Although this uh, upcoming week, no show on Monday, but we will be talking high school football on Tuesday and Wednesday. So if you love high school football, we'll certainly be talking about it as we do every day, Monday through Wednesday, on Extra Point with Phil Jones at ITG Next Georgia, the Facebook page there. So as we get ready to start quarter number four, American Heritage clinging to a three-point lead. Here we go, first play of the fourth quarter. Going to take, going to hand it off. There's Fletcher breaking away. Ten, they'll run him out of bounds, shy of the goal line. But Fletcher on a big run that time. Getting it all the way down. They'll spot him at the four. What a player Fletcher is. So after Cardinal Gibbons had struck on a 68-yard touchdown run from Kamari Bolton, here comes American Heritage right back, trying to get that touchdown back. And right now they've got it first and goal to go. Cardinal Gibbons got to come up with something big here if they want to keep him out of the end zone. There's Fletcher, though. He's tough, and he's going to get in there for the score. Just impossible to bring the guy down. Fletcher goes in for the score on first and goal to go. And so American Heritage, they are able to get the touchdown back. And it will come on the second play of the fourth quarter on a four-yard touchdown run with the point after attempt from Ramirez about to come up. So here's Ramirez to try the point after attempt. The kick is up, and it's good. Your score now, 20 to 10. Patriots regain the 10-point lead. We'll take a timeout, and we'll hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods, and we'll be right back. Welcome. 
Welcome back, guys. Phil Jones with you, ITG Next Florida. I want to remind everybody to like and follow us at ITG Next Florida on our Instagram and Facebook page. And here's the kickoff. It'll sail in and out of the end zone for the touchback. And Cardinal Gibbons now will go back on offense, first and 10. Again, guys, ITG Next Florida. We'll be back in the state of Florida in two weeks uh, calling this Cardinal Gibbons team as they'll be taking on St. Thomas Aquinas. That game going to be coming to you on a Saturday from Florida Atlantic University. Again, guys, it's all part of the ITG Next Game of the Week, bringing you the best in high school football from the states of Georgia and Florida all season long. All right, now let's see if Cardinal Gibbons can get the answer here. They trail it by 10 again. This pass, miscommunication from the quarterback and the receiver. As rain begins to fall here at Cardinal Gibbons. Incomplete, second down and 10, clock at 11.41 left to go in the game. Plenty of time left. Here's the snap. Going to hand it off. Was able to get away from the first man, but not the second as he takes it across the 21-yard line for a short game. 20 to 10 the score. Here we go, third down. Big play here, Cardinal Gibbons wants to keep this ball and keep this offense on the field. Three receivers, far side, one on the near side. Risk takes it, short drop, wants to throw, does, pass is complete. And that's gonna be good enough for the first down. Nice looking pass that time. from risk complete to Kamani Benaby, junior wide receiver on that far side. So that's gonna keep the chains going. That's a nice play and that's an important play for Cardinal Gibbons. So move the sticks, it's a first and 10. Cardinal Gibbons now out at their own 31. Risk gonna take it, gonna hand it. There's nothing there except a American Heritage defensive lineman. Going to bring up second down, and let's see, they're going to lose. Going to lose about a couple of yards on that play, so second down. Three receivers here to the near side for Cardinal Gibbons. You know, they may be in a position where they start airing it out a little bit more. Let's see. Wrist takes the snap, short drop, throws, complete up at the 40, and boy, Really took a hard hit at the 40. What a great job, by the way, of the receiver, Patrick Steepleton, hanging on to the ball. He really took a shot from the defensive back for American Heritage, but he was able to hang on to the football. Pass complete up at the 40. Going to be third down and short, third and two. Running play, going to get it to the 40, and that's about it. So now if you're Matt DeBuck and his staff, what do you do here? Your fourth down. You basically was only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Do you go for it here? And that appears to be exactly what Cardinal Gibbons is going to do. Riverboat gambler, Matt DeBuck says, we're going for it, leaving his offense on the field, fourth and two. Does he try to draw them off sides here? No, they're going to try to run it for the first down. And, boy, they're pushing the pile, and depending on where they spot him, they'll give him the first down, and they will. Wow, 
Gutsy call there by DeBuck and staff for Cardinal Gibbons, but boy, they get the first down, incredible. So that'll keep the drive going for Cardinal Gibbons. New set of downs at the 45, but we're under nine minutes to go in the game. Throw complete. We've got a penalty flag being thrown in the backfield. Let's see what we got. A lot of flags in this game tonight. We've had intermittent rain that has started and stopped on us tonight. Here it comes again. Still waiting on them to sort the, the penalty flag. I've still seen no sign from the crew chief. Really coming down now. We had a roughing the passer call. Guys, bear with us. We're trying to get our equipment taken care of in this rain. We're hoping it'll hold off. Throw, wide receiver screen. Can they do something with it? 30, 25, 20, 15, and they'll run him out of bounds there. Thankfully, the rain <laughs> stopped. <laughs> Guys, we have equipment up here, costly equipment, and we have no protection. Right now, the rain has stopped. Let's hope that it holds off. That's a Chiefs first down, and, boy, that was a big first down, by the way. We're up on the roof here, unprotected from the elements here tonight. Looks like we may have had a penalty flag tacked on to the end of that call as it will move the ball down now for Cardinal Gibbons. Here's the Cardinal Gibbons Chiefs now first and goal to go. Going to throw it far side, incomplete. That's lucky for Cardinal Gibbons that it was incomplete. Going to be up second down and goal to go. Here's the deal now. You're 20 to 10. Cardinal Gibbons trails it. You need a touchdown here. Well, you really need. You're going to have to get a touchdown. You're going to have to get two scores anyway. So whether it's two touchdowns to take the lead, a touchdown and a field goal to tie it. So that's what you've got to keep in mind here if you're Cardinal Gibbons, and I'm sure they have. Second and goal to go now. Cardinal Gibbons, the Chiefs, trying to protect our equipment from the rain here, guys. Snap. Going to throw it here near side. It's complete, but they're going to bring him down at about the six-yard line. Nothing doing there. Clock continues to run now, 8-20, 8-19. Risk the quarterback. Just dumped it out here in the flats, but not much blocking to support the receiver that time. So here we go now, third down and goal for the Chiefs as the clock hits exactly eight minutes to go in this football game with Cardinal Gibbons trailing it 20 to 10. And we've got whistles. What do we got? We've got a timeout by Cardinal Gibbons. Timeout. And we're going to keep it right here. Again, guys, bear with us, trying to protect everything from the rain here tonight. 
Guys, again, want to remind you, be sure to like and follow our ITG Next Florida Instagram, uh, Insta, Instagram and Facebook pages, guys. Let's spread the wealth. Again, be sure to like our ITG Next Florida Instagram and Facebook pages. And don't forget, we will be calling this Cardinal Gibbons team as they face St. Thomas Aquinas in a couple of weeks from Florida Atlantic University. We will be there bringing you this game. At the end of October, we'll be back in Georgia at Douglas, in Douglas, Georgia, bringing you coffee and Warner Robins to Georgia Powerhouses. Proud to be bringing you the best in high school football from Georgia and Florida right here at ITG Next Georgia and ITG Next Florida. Coming out of the timeout now. Big, big play here if you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan. Going to throw to the end zone, incomplete. He threw it too low. Now they're going to, wait a minute, they're going to defer to the side judge who's going to overrule and say it's complete. It's still fourth down, but now it's fourth and goal from the one. Cardinal Gibbons, they're lining up to go for the touchdown. No field goal. They're going to hand it off. He's trying to get to the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown, Cardinal Gibbons. What an incredible couple of plays there, guys. The throw from Risk was low. You had the referee in the back line of the end zone calling it incomplete while the side judge was calling it complete. So instead of an incomplete, it was complete at the one, still fourth and goal. Cardinal Gibbons, no hesitation whatsoever. They never thought about a field goal. They ran up, they handed it off, and they get the touchdown from Kamari Moulton, his second of the night. So now you're 20 to 16. Important extra point coming up. And it's good. What a ball game we've got at Fort Lauderdale. A rainy Friday night in South Florida with your score. Now, back to a three-point lead. It's 20 to 17, American Heritage with 7.28 left to go in the game. Let's take a 30-second timeout and we'll hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. Welcome back, everybody. Here's the kickoff. Short kick, taking it to 30, 35. Penalty flag coming in. Return man still on his feet. 40, 45, 50. And going to be brought down at the 45. Again, a penalty flag way back. So let's check the call here. Let's see what we got here, guys. Penalty flag thrown way behind the play. This is going to be huge, depending on what this is. Because American Heritage just had a huge return. 20 to 17, what a game. Here comes the white hat. Now he's still talking to his crew. So we're still waiting on the official call here, guys. You normally think if you've seen a call come in behind the play like that, it's usually a holding call on the return team. I'm assuming that's what this is, but we're gonna wait on the official call. All right, so two penalties. We had a holding call on American Heritage. We had a unsportsmanlike, I think a late hit on Cardinal Gibbons. So I'm assuming we'll walk one off both ways. And 
until they set it down and get ready to snap it, don't really know where the ball is going to wind up. So we'll wait just like you guys are. So here we go. It'll start at the 25-yard line. So here we go. So we had two penalties. So spotted at the 25 now. Running play, right side, not much, maybe a yard or two. You got to expect here that American Heritage is going to run Fletcher. He has been their go-to guy all night long. In fact, again, I think he and Ennis have been the lone rushers tonight for the Patriots. And we've got, I think we've got a timeout here. We're going to keep it right here. Again, we've had rain tonight. we got an injury timeout, injury timeout, as they're tending to a Patriot player. That'll give us a chance again to remind you that Baker Sporting Goods, our sponsor of tonight's game, and again, want to remind everybody, be sure to like and share our pages at ITG Next Florida, our Facebook page, and our Instagram page. All right, Charlie Weatherspoon checking in. Says that's Kamari with the touchdown. That's my nephew. By the way, Charlie Weatherspoon checking in from Tallahassee, Florida. So it looks like the an injured player was number four. It is number four, Mark Fletcher. Oh my goodness. He has been their go-to guy. He is limping off the field right now, guys. I don't have to tell you if you're a Patriots fan how big that can be. He is being brought over now to the trainer's table. Medical staff waiting on him down here below us at the training table. They'll tend to Fletcher, who is their, their go-to guy. That could be huge. We're going to keep an eye on that. We obviously wish the young man best wishes and that he gets back on the field for sure, but obviously it's still a... A heck of a play. The ball has come out. The ball has come out. Ennis has fumbled it. And Cardinal Gibbons has recovered. There's the break that Cardinal Gibbons was looking for. They had a heavy rush on Ennis. And in the process of a Cardinal Gibbons chief wrestling him to the ground, the ball came out. Cardinal Gibbons has recovered at 624 of the fourth quarter. Cardinal Gibbons trails at 20 to 17, and they have recovered at the 10-yard line. Are you kidding me? Can Cardinal Gibbons take advantage of the turnover? The ball actually inside the 10-yard line at the nine. Here's Cardinal Gibbons gonna run it, gonna run right into the teeth of that heritage. Defense, nothing doing. They're feeding it to Moulton right now, and why not? He is their go-to guy as well. But we have seen two great backs tonight in Moulton and Fletcher, guys. Whistles on the play. What do we got? Timeout. We're going to keep it right here. So a game that, let's face it, overall has really gone the way of American heritage. They've controlled the line of scrimmage. They've controlled time of possession. But big plays have been the name of this game. And penalties have also been the name of the game tonight, guys. It's penalties that really, I think, have cost American heritage from pulling away in this game. But what a gritty performance from... The Chiefs tonight, guys, unbelievable performance. They have not given up in this game. They were down 10 to nothing. They battled back to make it 10 to three. They went down 13 to three. They battled back to make it 13 to 10. They went down 20 to 10. They battled back to make it 20 to 17, which is where we are right now. And they've just come up with a huge play, a caused fumble and fumble recovery. And they've got it now, second down and goal to go. at the Patriots 10 yard line. Risk takes it, short drop, wide receiver screen. He threw it low at the feet of the receiver. 
That stops the clock on the incomplete at 6.20 to go in the game. So now you're looking at third down. What a game. Unbelievable game we've had here tonight. Big play here uh, to this point, play of the game. Third and goal from the 10. Risk takes the snap. Heavy rush. Going to throw it to the end zone. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is going to be thrown for interference on American Heritage. So that's a huge call going to go against American Heritage. Madonna Austin Sifani has put it perfectly. She says, ugh, silly mistakes are plunging Chiefs tonight. Actually, mistakes and penalties are plaguing both teams tonight, guys. But thank you so much, Madonna, for your comments and everybody else's comments. Guys, I appreciate you. So it was a pass interference on the Patriots. Now, what that's going to do is going to move it half the distance to the goal line. Should remain third down, though. Remember, high school, you don't get the automatic first down. Here we go. Cardinal Gibbons running a player out there late. Now the white hat wants to confer with the side judge and talk about this thing. So a timeout on the field. Let's take a timeout. Let's hear from our friends at Baker Sporting Goods. guys coming out of the timeout big play here third and goal gonna run it not gonna get there gonna be short of the goal line so now what do you do if you're Cardinal Gibbon do you want to try to tie this thing up is what you want to do So Cardinal Gibbons is going to run on the place kicker here and try to tie this thing up. Silverstein will try to tie it up here. Here's the hold. The kick is up, and it is good. Wow. 20-yard field goal that time from Silverstein, and we're all tied up. Patriots 20, Chiefs 20. First time, guys, that we have had a tie game since we were 0-0 zero to, zero to start this thing. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable game, 20-20. to 20. And, guys, we're 533 to go in the football game. What are we going to see now? Wow, it's unbelievable. Madonna Otten, Sifoni says, the big play, woo-hoo. Dominique Lindsay says, let's go Cardinal Gibbons. Charlie Weatherspoon, again, checking in from Tallahassee. Guys, keep those comments coming. Demarius Washington, Dean Knoll, all of you. Paula Love, checking in. Here we go, it's a short kick, taking it to 30, 35, 40. Boy, that was dangerous. Gets it up to the 42. And so, here's American Heritage now. They're gonna come out here with good field position. They're going to have it first and 10 at around the 40. They'll spot it just outside their own 40-yard line. What a game. We're 20 to 20, 5.26 to go here in the football game, guys. 
So let me hear from you. What do you do? What do you need if you're an American Heritage fan? What do you need if you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan? I'm sure Cardinal Gibbons fans will say something like, man, we need a turnover, another turnover. We need an interception or something. American Heritage would like a big run or something. Let's see what happens. There's Ennis going to keep it. Cardinal Gibbons doing a good job as well, best they can to try to corral him. He is some kind of electric player, that being Ennis. Now, we saw Fletcher go down before that last series. I don't know if he's back in or not. I'm going to see if I can check here. He's on the sideline, Mr. Producer has just showed me. So he is not in the game. That could be huge. Will Ennis try to take this game on his own shoulders now? Miscommunication here. Ennis threw behind the receiver. They weren't on the same page. Ennis threw it out here on a, what looked like was supposed to be a comeback route, but the receiver was streaking down the field. So incomplete. now. Again, guys, without Fletcher in the game, man, he will not, it don't like he's going to return. He is on the sidelines. And right now, you may see Mr. Ennis try to take this thing on his own shoulders and try to win it or at least move the ball. Let's see what happens. Third down, heavy rush. Going to throw complete on a wide receiver screen. And it's a first down for American Heritage. What a play. What a play by the Patriots. Cardinal Gibbons brought the house that time. Ennis, great player that he is, he read it. They hit a wide receiver screen. And with so much of a heavy rush, it was impossible for Cardinal Gibbons to get back on defense. And by the time they did, it's a first down for American Heritage. Give the Chiefs credit. They just hit Cardinal Gibbons on a huge first down. Here comes the Patriots now at the Cardinal Gibbons 43-yard line. That was huge with 4-10 to go in this game and a new set of downs. And it's going to take, going to hand it off right up the middle, nothing doing. No gain. They stopped the ball carrier right there. We'll check the number here. I believe that's number 26. Byron Lewis. We're under four minutes now, guys. 340, 339, 338. Clock continues to run. If you're American Heritage, you just want to hang on to it. Either you want to go down and get something to end the game or at least keep it away from Cardinal Gibbons. Second down, 10. American Heritage. Ennis calls for it. He's got it, going to hand it off. Right up the middle, taking it to the 39-yard line. Again, running it to Byron Lewis. He's in there in place of the injured Fletcher. I'll, I'll be honest with you, American Heritage, if they get it done without Fletcher in this game, that's huge. I mean, big time. Right now, to this point, you're about to have the play of the game. With 243, 242, 241, third down and six. From inside the Cardinal Gibbons 40, this is the play of the game. What happens? Ennis takes it, looks, throws, complete. They bring him down. To, uh, they bring him down at the 30. Goodness gracious! That is a American Heritage first down. That's huge, guys. I can tell you this Patriots kicker, Ramirez, has got a leg. Now, right now, they need to get it closer, but right now they're at the Cardinal Gibbons 31 in a 20-20 game. Three receivers, far side, one of the near side. Ennis going to take, going to hand it. There's a lot of running room right side. That's not going to help things if you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan. 
And that's number 26 again. That's Byron Lewis. And again, in place in the game in place of Mark Fletcher. He's come up big here. Give him credit. Now, boy, you're getting into dangerous situation here if you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan because you're at two minutes. You're at two minutes in a 20 to 20 game. What a ball game we have had, and it's still a great game. Under two minutes to go now. Second and very short. Going to hand it to Lewis again. He's taking it right up the middle for a first down. Inside the 20. Now you're getting down to a situation where you know what American Heritage is going to do. They're going to try to run this thing, going to try to run the clock down and shoot for a late field goal. 134. American Heritage is in no hurry here. The play clock is at 20. The game clock is at 125. They're going to run this thing down to around 110 or so. Nine seconds on the play clock. Here's American Heritage. I'm sure they'll run this thing as much time off as they can. They'll snap it, and we've got whistles now. What do we got? Check the call here. This could be big for either side. American Heritage says it's against Cardinal Gibbons, is it? No, it's a false start on American Heritage. That's going to back them up five yards. So that hurts if you're American Heritage. That's going to put the ball back out at the 27. So now you're still first down, but now you're first and 15. One twelve to go in this game in a 20-20 to 20 tie. Travis Hunter, the top player in Georgia, goes out with a fractured ankle. That is huge. Big time. Here we go. Handoff right up the middle. Good play by Cardinal Gibbons. They wrapped him up right away for no gain. One minute. One minute to go in the game. One minute. The play clock is at 30. American Heritage right now, from where this is, 24, you would be looking at about a 40-yard field goal. Now, American Heritage up to the line, of course, they're going to try to keep running it and try to keep getting closer. Well, let's see what happens here. Ennis calls for the ball. Still waiting, still waiting. They'll take and hand it to Lewis. Brought down right away. So you obviously you're seeing American Heritage. They're strategizing for a last second field goal attempt. 23.3 seconds left. The ball is at the 25. We've got a timeout. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here. Again, big thanks to our friends at Baker Sporting Goods for sponsoring tonight's game. Just unbelievable turn of events here tonight and really across both Florida and Georgia tonight. Don't forget, in a couple of weeks, we will be right here in the state of Florida. We'll be at Florida Atlantic University on the 15th, bringing you Cardinal Gibbons and St. Thomas Aquinas. ITG Next Florida bringing you the best in high school football, guys, both in the state of Florida and on ITG Next Georgia, of course, up in the Peach State. All right, here we go. Andrea Colick Boyle says, my son played for Gibbons, and now my daughter dances for Heritage. So she's rooting for both teams. That's what you call a divided house, right, Andrea? Boy, big play here. Third down, American Heritage at the Cardinal Gibbons 25. And we've got, I believe, a timeout. Patriots called a timeout there. 
We're going to keep it right here, guys. Again, what a game we have had. Thanks so much for all of the comments. Nick Simoncini checking in. Lauren Alford checking in. Dominic Lindsay, Charlie Weatherspoon, Zarkia Foster. Demarius Washington, thanks for putting the spotlight on South Florida football. Man, when I was in school, we didn't have Facebook and your page to show the games. I love it. We can see different teams at home. Demarius, you are welcome, sir. We are glad to be doing it here at ITG Next Florida. Again, I said earlier, give a big shout-out to my buddy Tyler Milbrandt. Guys, again, what do you think about this game so far? I want to hear from you. So, you're going to see American Heritage, I'm sure. Are they going to try something wacky here? Do they try play action and try to catch Cardinal Gibbons sleeping? Do they try something wacky here and try some kind of play action? Let's see. 23 seconds left. No, they're going to run it to Lewis. Nothing fancy. And Cardinal Gibbons is going to stand him up at the 29. So now watch this. Cardinal Gibbons, American Heritage rather, are going to let this thing run down to about three or two seconds and try a last second field goal. There's the timeout. 3.4 seconds left. So we're going to see American Heritage try a long field goal when we come out of this timeout. The ball is spotted at the 20, uh, let's see here, 24. My apologies, guys. I think I said 29 earlier. 24-yard line is where the ball sits. So by the time that they snap this, it'll be snapped probably at the 30. So you're looking at about a 40-yard field goal attempt. So we're going to be looking at two, one of two things, guys. You're looking at American Heritage walking out of here with a victory, or we go to overtime. What's going to happen? The hold will come at the 31. It's a 41-yard field goal. When they snap it, the clock will start, and this game will end in either a win or a tie. Cardinal Gibbons now will ice the American Heritage kicker. Again, we're going to keep it right here. Didn't you know that was going to happen? So Matt DeBuck ices the American Heritage kicker, Ramirez, to let him think about it a little bit. What a game we have had, guys. No matter who wins this thing, if you are an American Heritage fan, you obviously are hoping your Patriots pull it out. If you're a Cardinal Gibbons fan, you want to see extra football tonight. And one of those two things is about to happen. Let's see what it is. Well, we saw the former Champagnat Catholic great kicker, Andres Borgales, miss a chip shot Thursday night for the University of Miami. What's going to happen here with Mr. Ramirez and American Heritage from 41 yards away? Cardinal Gibbons takes another timeout. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Taking yet another timeout to ice him even further. I can't tell you when's the last time I've seen that, guys. Getting two timeouts in a row. Guys, don't forget, like and share the ITG Next Florida Facebook page and our ITG Next Florida Instagram. We appreciate you doing that for us, guys, helping to spread the word about all that is good with youth sports, high school football here with ITG Next Florida. Here we go, guys. Doug Hughes, Johnny Lee Zanders all checking in. What's going to happen here, guys? Let's see. We'll all watch together. Here we go. We're going to all watch together here. Cardinal Gibbons going to bring the house and try to block this one. Ramirez going to try to kick it through from 41 yards out. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick is up. He, he nailed it. He nailed it. It's good. 
He nailed it. It's good. And American Heritage will win it 23 to 20 on an exciting ending to what was an exciting game here tonight between these two teams. Congratulations to Patrick Sertain and the American Heritage Patriots. I'll tell you this, everybody that paid to watch this game tonight here live got their money's worth. You guys that watched it here on ITG Next Florida, you didn't have to pay a dime to watch this one, but you certainly were entertained. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. What an incredible game we had tonight here at ITG Next Florida. Unbelievable. Again, your final score here from Cardinal Givens. It's American Heritage on a last second. 41 yard field goal wins it 23 to 20 in a hard fought, fantastic game between two Florida powerhouses. Again, we want to thank Baker Sporting Goods for sponsoring tonight's game. As Mr. Producer Brandon Pham gives you some of the last minute views of the field here tonight. You can see players, fans on both teams. The Patriots, of course, are ecstatic. The Chiefs, their coaching staff, fans, disappointed in how this one ended. But I got to tell you, there's a lot of football left to be played, guys. There's no question about that. For Cardinal Gibbons, it's their first loss of the season. They fall to four and one. For American Heritage, they improved to two and two. Guys, I want to encourage you guys to check out both the Patrick Sertain Coaches Show as well as the Matt DeBuck Coaches Show. As you can check out both of those at ITG Next Florida as we talk with, yours truly talks with both of these coaches every week. And you can hear the recap that we will get from both of these coaches, perspective from both coaches next week on both the American Heritage Coaches Show with Patrick Sertain. I'll be talking to him. I'll also be talking to Matt DeBuck on the Cardinal Gibbons Coaches Show next week. You can check out both of those right here at ITG Next Florida. Again, guys, your final score from Cardinal Gibbons tonight in Fort Lauderdale. What a game. American Heritage wins it on a 41-yard field goal as time expired, 23-20. to 20. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, we'll be back with you next week with more great high school football. For Brandon Pham, I'm Phil Jones. You've been watching the, grist, the best in high school football here at ITG Next Florida. Big thanks to Baker Sports for sponsoring our game. You guys have a great night. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.